cuties, how you doing? Um, I'm going to show you how I make my mask. Very, very easy. There's no elastic, there's no uh, sewing, there's no pinning, nothing. So, what I do is I take an old nightgown or a t-shirt. So don't throw out your old nightgowns or t-shirts. And if you have any with stains, make a little pile for your to make masks from. <laughs> So here, I've been cutting from this, and it's just such a comfortable nightgown. It's stretchy jersey, and it's by, uh, by Ann Klein. Okay. Where's my scissors? I cut a rectangle piece about that long, actually from seam to seam. And I just put it on and made a knot. Easy. No sewing, no elastic, no pinning no folding just put it around your head and make a knot and the knot goes in the back and i just put it over my ponytail if it slides then you put a clip on your hair and put it over the clip all right so now you're safe to go in any store it's not an n95 but you are allowed in the store with this now, the problem is that it's a little hard to breathe. It's just too close to my lips and my nose. Okay, so I said, I'm going Go to find something in the dollar store that has holes, like a strainer, but not metal, but something rubbery. So because I already filmed this part, I already cut it. So it was right here. I'll show you another picture. This is the silicone sink strainer. And it's red, and the whole thing looked like this. It was all round, and that's it. And then I just cut it. Because when I put it on, it still was suffocating my nose. It was hurting it. Here, it didn't fit. So when I, when I cut it, I cut off the whole wide part there. Look at that. That goes over the nose and the mouth, and I could breathe better, and I can move my lips without my lips to coming off like that. See? Yes, yeah, so I needed something that would, wouldn't take the lipstick off of me. I also purchased this. This came on here. It's called a hair donut. And in the beauty community, we have all been using this to clean brushes. After you put some on and you swipe it, and this, so this is good to have in your vanity, so you can re clean your brushes. So, and, so I tried to do it, and then I said, "Well, it's not really doing it because it's still pressing against my lips." I cut down to here and around there, and this is what it looked like when I was done. And this fits perfect, perfect. Okay, before it was like this, that's too high. And here, it was still crushing my nose. But I knew I was onto something because this is what I was looking for. Something that had shape and was soft against my face. Something that could keep the mask away from my lips. So this can actually go over my nose and it doesn't hurt. So this is the mask I made. It's just a rectangle piece of stretchy fabric. That's all you need. Now I'm going to put this in it and I'm gonna put it on my face. So let's see. Perfect. Yay. I could breathe, I could talk. You could trim this part too if you want. You, you could trim it so you just have this right in front. And this is good for the regular blue surgical mask too. You could put this inside it also. So I'm so happy I figured out the solution. I was like determined. I wasn't going home yesterday after I had to run an errand, an important errand. And Here's my, is this the other mask? You see, I have one on, I don't even know. Okay, so, 
Let me put it in. Look how easy. Look how easy. It just goes right there. This is fabulous. Fabulous. And you could keep it like that. You just bunch it up, the fabric. You don't you don't fold it in the back of the fat of the rubber strainer. You just keep it like that. You know, and we can trim this. We can trim it. Let's see. Maybe I will. Let's see. I'll just go a little less width around the mesh without disturbing the mesh. So there you've got your little mask. And you know, it just uh, it don't look ridiculous. And you could put it under anything. Oh. And you know what I like best about this? I could talk to myself. I could mumble low. Nobody knows I'm talking to myself because I can't see my lips moving. <laughs> so I like the mask for that reason. But I really like the fact that I could I could mumble in the street when I'm walking and I could talk and nobody knows as long as I do it quietly. So there it is. Doesn't look bad. Now this goes without saying that this is not going to be that comfortable in the summer, but you know, we'll do what we have to do. Now my daughter gave me these coffee filters. And what we're trying to do is make some distance with, with a shape that will keep it protruding. I don't think this is this is going to keep anything protruding. Could help. Um, this is what I want to see. Ooh, she gave me two. Yes, thank you. Oh, and it's got the metal here. That's good. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to put the mask and then put this right here. Right over my nose. They also sell, which I'll put a link below, it's a clip, not a clip, but like a plastic connector for these two things so they don't have to hang on your ears. So they could just like wrap around your head. Or you can put a piece of elastic on the loops so you're not tugging at your ears. I would say for the homemade mask, of fabric so it doesn't lay on your mouth on your lipstick that's really basically the problem I mean if you're wearing lipstick of course you don't have to but I like to wear lipstick now <laughs> I hope this helped you <laughs> boop 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 oh you see I can sing I could talk you know people think you're crazy when you talk to yourself but you can sing and no one thinks you're crazy so uh, <laughs> it doesn't stick out too much but then again we're not going for good looks here look even two layers even two layers I could breathe better because my my lips can move at least and when I'm not wearing it, just put it there. So, I hope this helped. I hope you have some t-shirts that have a little stain on it or some stretchy nightgowns that have a little hole or a little stain you don't want to wear anymore. Don't throw it away. Now we're looking for fabric to make a mask. So, I hope that helped you, and I'll see you in my next video. Remember, I'm praying for you. Let's pray for the world. Love you all.